The Divestor Tex. Quintus Brunson, who previously joked about hanging Martin Luther King, married a white sales manager who doesn't have a degree but tries to hide him because she has to pretend to be pro-black. Listen to her whack jokes. Find love in this room tonight if you are single. God damn it. Don't be afraid of it. I'm, I'm doing the dates. I'm doing the dating. Uh, but it's really hard for me because every, every guy I like, I just wind up becoming really, really good friends with. It's like I like them and they like me, but neither of us ever makes a move, so we just become chums. We just become good buddies. I had a friend tell me, Quinta, one day I want my daughter to turn out just like you. And I was like, so should I grab that dick now or later? Because it sounds like you want to procreate. He did not. I um, got in an argument with my boyfriend this morning. I love getting in arguments about very major issues over very small things. He woke up, and he's like, I want some breakfast. I'm like, go get a fucking banana. Shut up. And he goes in the kitchen, gets a banana. He's like, hey, Q, do you have any other bananas? Because this one just got like the brown spots on it. So I'm like, so you don't want the banana because it's got some brown in it? It's got a little brown in the banana? Is that a problem? The brown in the bananas, that's, that's a problem for you? He's like, no, no, I'm just saying, like, I just wanted to know if you had any other bananas, because if you had some other ones, I would choose those. Oh, so you want another banana. Uh, you want another banana. Wow, wow. Wow, you got a banana right there with a Netflix account, but you want another banana. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do the dating. It's really hard. I wind up becoming really good friends with all the guys I date. Like, I like them, and they like me, but they never make a move, so we just become good chums, and that's it. One of my guy friends told me, Quinta, one day, I want my daughter to turn out just like you. And I was like, so should I grab that dick now or later? <laughs> it sounds like you want to procreate. <laughs> he did. Trust Martin Luther King, though. It just got real. <laughs> it just got so real. Oh, I do. I really like Martin Luther King. Like, I think about him a lot, more than the average person. Like, and I prepare for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You know what I mean? Like, I hang little Martin Luther Kings around the, 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 the you know. Kate told me stop saying that joke because it's not nice to say I hung Martin Luther Kings around. But I do. I put them on tinsel and I put them around the house. I love Martin Luther King. He's a great dude. Um, the thing that makes me saddest about Martin Luther King is that I think he never got to have a dream again. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he woke up one day and he's like, oh, Rodney. That's his roommate, Rodney. Rodney. Rodney, I just had a dream. I saw a pelican playing checkers with Marilyn Monroe. I don't care if she was around at that time. Marilyn Monroe. Rodney's like, dog, that, that joint was weak. Everything you drop from now on has to be fire. Like, you can't drop any weak dreams from now on. If Drake was around back then, he would have ghost wrote for Martin Luther King. That's not a joke, that's fact. So just accept that for what it is. Quinta Brunson has become a public figure since creating Abbott Elementary, but when it comes to her marriage the creator has chosen to keep her life private. Quinta Brunson married a sales manager named Kevin J. Enick in 2021 and has chosen to keep him out of the spotlight. According to Quinta, she doesn't talk about her relationship with her husband Kevin J because she likes to keep it sacred and safe. The Abbott Elementary creator also recognizes people's views on interracial marriages and says she also doesn't bring him out to be analyzed or attacked by the world. It's a streaming show. It's not a streaming show. Sorry, I know you guys get confused about that. It's a network sitcom, like, say, Friends. Except instead of being about a group of friends, it's about a group of teachers. And instead of New York, it's in Philadelphia. And instead of not having black people, it does. So... So it's okay to make disgusting jokes about Martin Luther King, but her white husband needs to be protected against the world. Quintus is a true divester. She has a broke white husband and thinks she has to disrespect black people to make white people laugh while being mad that white people exclude her. The divester texts.